Hey guys, Chris Cook in Nashville here. Just got a quick vlog update for you guys today. Um, a couple of things to mention. So it is the 23rd of May of 2023 and it's my two year wedding anniversary today. My wife and I have been uh, married for two years today and uh, she is amazing and wonderful and uh, I love her more than I could ever put into words. So um, just a, a happy anniversary to her and you know guys I've talked a little bit about how I do this kind of stuff and uh, sort of my my reason, my why for, for doing the, the carnivore thing that I do is because of like wanting to be a good husband and eventually wanting to be a dad and all these kinds of things. Man, that is really just put into perspective today because I wouldn't be able to be here and be myself and having a great day, ready to go home and, you know, spend some time with her a little bit later. Um, I'm going to make dinner for us and, you know, just get to spend my anniversary with my wife. I wouldn't be able to do that kind of stuff the way that I do if it wasn't for the choices that I make to try to take care of myself. So anyway, those are the kinds of things, you know, that, that you just have to really think about on the carnivore diet. Like, you know, there's important things out there and this is protecting that. And that's really important to me. So, um, anyway, so happy anniversary to my wife. Um, guys, y'all have been blowing up my videos. I really appreciate it. I just released my video for the carnivore brioche buns, that's doing fantastic. I've had people writing me saying they've made this recipe and that they're fantastic and it's the best keto or carnivore type bread they've ever made and they don't usually like like the egg based bread stuff but they, they love this one. And y'all, we're just starting to scratch the surface of it. Um, this concept of how to make these uh, carnivore brioche buns with, with using the cooked eggs and mixing them in with kind of a souffle method. I'm just getting started with what I can do with this. Um, that is cheesy garlic bread that I made for us for dinner last night, just as an experiment, and there were a couple of purposes in that. But my wife took a bite of that when she got home from work, and she said it's the best thing I've ever made that's like a carnivore recipe. So I'm definitely going to be perfecting that one, and I will be sharing that with you guys soon when I when I get the time. Y'all, I have so many videos right now that I'm trying to perfect recipes for, and I'm trying to um, just, just get filmed and, and share with you. Uh, so just, you know, I appreciate your patience. It's uh, It takes a lot of time. Um, between the filming and the editing and just the, the chance to experiment with a recipe and make sure it's right. I, I don't know, you guys probably um, may not know this, but when I do a recipe for you, I've done that recipe myself at least three or four times before I ever share a recipe with you because I wanna make sure that it works exactly the way I think it does. I've thought about all of the different things that could go wrong. I've tried to make it as consistent as possible. And I also had somebody who commented on one of my videos. He was like, uh, man, I like the fact that, you know, when you say a tablespoon, like you're not, <clears throat> excuse me, allergies are killing me. He's like, you're not really measuring out <clears throat> an actual tablespoon. And he's like, it's just close. And I told him, I said, you know, you can absolutely measure out exactly what it is. I've done that. Uh, but a lot of times when I'm cooking these recipes, unless they really have to be exact, I try to create my recipes as best I can where there is a tolerance for error. So if you have a little too much egg white powder, not quite enough egg white powder, a little more than a tablespoon of beef gelatin, a little less, one to two tablespoons of vinegar, two to three tablespoons of vinegar. I try to create these recipes as best I can so that they will work regardless. I try to make them have a, a tolerance for error because when I'm making recipes for you guys, I want this to be accessible to a home cook. I have a lot of experience in the kitchen and although I haven't worked professionally in the kitchen, I've done the professional home version of it. And what I mean by that is like, I mean, I'm the cook in the family. I you know, I do the Thanksgiving and the Christmas and the, you know, the big things and all that kind of stuff. I've learned from my mom who is the same thing, you know, for that sector of our family, she is the cook. Like I've, I have done 
massive amounts of research and I've watched cooking videos my whole life. I've learned from the greatest chefs in the world via, you know, their YouTube and their techniques and their videos and their cooking channels and cookbooks and all of this. Like I'm really experienced in the kitchen and I love that. I have a passion for that as you guys probably know. I know that not every home cook has that same experience. And although you may have the ability to cook like I do, you may not have the experience to cook like I do just off the top of your head. So I try to create these recipes to be as tolerant of a little bit of error as possible so that if you go to measure something and maybe you don't measure it quite right, or you know something gets a little bit off, or it's you know an extra two or three minutes in the oven, I'm trying to make my recipes so that they won't fail. They may not be quite as good unless you just totally nail it, but I want them to be right there where they're still really, really good and they're really easy for you guys. So if you see stuff in my videos where I'm kind of throwing stuff together like that, I'm showing you the real version. That's how I cook. That's how I experiment. But I test these recipes multiple times before I film it and before I put it out there because I want to make sure that it's going to work for you guys. And so, um, that's, you know, that's kind of a little bit of the hold up on a couple of my recipes just because it, it takes time. I want to make sure I nail it for you. Um, also, if I taste a recipe and I'm like, yeah, I'm not totally happy with that. That's not really what I think it can do. Um, I go back to the drawing board and I either take a totally different approach or I take the same approach, but I start messing with it and I really try to iron it out. So I've got uh, this cheesy garlic bread that I just showed you the picture of coming. Um, there's also this, if you saw my little short, my little teaser video yesterday, I'm working to nail out the exact recipe for carnivore mashed potatoes. And yes, I know that sounds crazy. I know I'm probably nuts. Um, if you ask my wife, who has put up with me now as my wife for two years today, uh, she'll tell you I'm nuts. <laughs> okay with that. I'm fine being crazy. I'm a musician. I'm used to being considered crazy. Uh, I've, I've just always as my mother would put it, I've always marched to the beat of my own drummer, which is fine. She just wishes she could hear the band. Um, so I'm crazy, I know. But guys, these taste fantastic. My wife came home the other night. I had experimented with this, and I did, um, I did a pot roast and mashed potatoes, and I did some zucchini for her. And she took a bite, and she was like, they taste like mashed potatoes. There's, there's no way. What, what is this? And, you know, so we were talking about the recipe and she's like, they literally taste like creamy, tasty, super smooth mashed potatoes. Like the texture is right. The flavor is almost the same. Like, I mean, if you really put them next to mashed potatoes, sure, you'd probably know they're not quite the same, but it would probably seem like a different recipe of mashed potatoes than it would anything else. You'd have no idea. And yes, they are completely carnivore. There is not like some fake recipe ingredient in there that you're gonna all of a sudden be like, oh, well, Chris didn't tell me that was in there. These aren't carnivore. No, it's all carnivore ingredients, I promise. Um, it is it is heavy on the dairy, so if you can't tolerate dairy, you know, we, I might see what I can do about the dairy, but um, but they're, they're carnivore mashed potatoes. I mean, they seriously, seriously are. And they're really not hard to make. So I'm, I'm really working to nail out that recipe. So I've got that coming. I've got the yakitori, the, the chicken on a stick, uh, like Japanese style grilled chicken on a stick that I did in the air fryer. I'm working on that video as well. I actually started filming that yesterday a little bit. So that's a several day process to film. Um, it's not a several day process for you in the kitchen, but it, but it is for me. So that's probably going to be the next video is the yakitori. And then I think I'm going to do the, ma the mashed potatoes after that one. Um, and I've got a couple little, uh, just small, like keto recipes or other little things I may drop, you know, a little secretly here and there over the next couple of weeks. But, uh, we're, we're super busy right now too. I'm trying to fit these in for you guys so that I can, you know, make sure you have, uh, videos to watch and, and new recipes to try out for your families and stuff. So I'm just, I'm working on all of that, but we're, we're playing shows. I'm teaching guitar lessons. I'm, you know, still working my day job here, uh, and so it's it's just been really busy. But you know, the channel has really taken off because of you guys, and I really appreciate that. I love every single one of you. You guys are awesome. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what's going on with the channel. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, do all of that kind of stuff. And uh, I just, I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, a couple of shout outs I want to do: Indigo Neely and Lindsay Murphy. Um, 
They are, they're a couple of YouTube stars here in the keto and carnivore world, and they, they did a shout out for me on a, a live stream, a live Q&A kind of thing that they did uh, the other day, and they were talking about my butter mayo and my ranch dressing. Um, and then Lindsay Murphy actually did a video where she tried my butter mayo recipe and she kind of did it her own way. And, uh, you know, she, I mean, she ended up getting it to work just fine though, you know, with, with a couple of tweaks and everything. And it kind of shows the flexibility, I think of that recipe. And, uh, she did that. So I really want to thank them just for, for pointing that out. I really appreciate them. Um, also by the YouTube name of Lemonade, L-E-M-M-I-N-A-I-D-E, -I, -E, I believe. Uh, a lovely, lovely lady had requested that I open my Patreon, which she had, she had commented and asked if I had one, and I said, no, I don't, but I've considered it. And she said, well, please start one because I'd really like to support your channel. So I did. Um, I had planned on waiting for a while before I did that, but you know, I had her and then several other people started requesting ways to support the channel. And so I went ahead and started it and immediately she jumped on and she was my first supporter and she, um, she gave me just a wonderful, wonderful honor of being my first Patreon supporter and is, you know, she's, she's just, she's there, she's got her own thing she's doing and is, you know, using carnivore for all these things in her life and I think it's amazing, but she just wanted to jump on and support the channel because she said she just believes in what I'm doing. Guys, I can't tell you how much that means when, when people like that do that. And I've had several other people sign up as well. It just helps me offset the cost of constantly experimenting on the ingredients and just makes it a little bit easier for me to put a little more time into doing this for you guys. And it just, it just means the world. So I'll link the Patreon down below. If you guys would like to go become a patron and, and support me, that would mean the world. You don't have to, but, uh, but it just, if you do want to do that, if you like what I'm doing and you want to be involved in it, um, there's different levels and, you know, different perks that come with it, but I'm doing behind the scenes things and some cool stuff. And I'm going to be doing some live stream stuff only for my patron members and, um, you know, some different things, just, just some extra stuff. So if you're interested in that, I'll link that below. If not, just you being here watching, liking and subscribing and sharing and all that, that just means the world too. Um, I also have a merch shop for the same reason. If you'd like to support, but you want to get a t-shirt or something out of it, I'll link that down below too. I think those are super cool. I'm actually going to get a couple of them and uh, probably use them when I film, you know, and just rep the Chris Cooking Nashville brand. So anyway, that's all going to be there. I just appreciate everything you guys do, whether it's whether it's monetary support or whether it's, it's just being here watching. I just appreciate it all because I love you guys and you're great. Um, health update. I, this morning was 289 pounds flat. So that seven tenths of a pound above that, that I had last week is gone. Um, and truthfully, I probably would have lost a little bit more, but I didn't fast yesterday. Uh, you know, a lot of days I only eat one meal a day. I eat dinner and I just, I have my coffee in the morning and that's it. Yesterday I actually brought food with me because I hadn't eaten as big of a dinner the night before, which means I tend to get hungry. And I've noticed if I don't fast, the day before I weigh in on Tuesday mornings, I tend to be maybe a half pound heavier. Just, you know, it just, it kind of, it offsets that weight loss for me by a day usually. So no big deal, uh, but I think that's super cool. I'm 289 pounds. That means I've lost 56 pounds since I started doing this in the last four and a half, almost five months. Like Guys, that's just, that's crazy. And that also means my highest I ever was that I know for sure, at least, was 385, which means I'm 96 pounds lower than what I know for sure that I was. I'm pretty sure I was bigger than that at some point. So I'm 96 plus lower than I was. So um, <clears throat> I'm feeling good. I'm having fun. Things are good. My shirts are fitting bigger. Guys, this whole thing really works. So if you're considering doing carnivore or even keto or ketovore or whatever, please, please do it. It's fantastic. Um, it's, it's a great, it's a great way of just getting your health back, jumping on the proper human diet, realizing what you've always had the potential to feel like, and just being able to make a brand new version of yourself. If you have questions about any of that, feel free to hit me up. I, you know, if I don't know the answer, I will be glad to direct you to the people that do. Most of the answers that I know are just either personal experience or because I heard it from someone like Dr. Barry who is very intelligent and very, very well informed on this 
lifestyle and this way of eating. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I've got for you today. I don't think there's anything super crazy happening other than just these cool recipes I'm working on in my anniversary today. That's pretty much the deal. So if you have questions or you know want to want to do anything like a, a live chat or any of that kind of stuff, put it in a comment down below. Like I, I you know I watch all of my videos uh, on the comment section to try to answer and talk to people. I try to engage as much as I have time for because I love you guys. We're a community. We do this together, and I want to interact with you. I want to know you're here, and uh, just feel free to share my videos anywhere that you think people might see them and benefit from them. The links to support the channel are down below. If you guys have cool ideas for recipes that you think, you know, like, hey, maybe you could do a carnivore version of such and such, like, feel free to shoot it to me. I may or may not be able to do it, but I can certainly try. And uh, if you have things you would like to send to me, like information, pictures of my recipes that you're recreating, any of that kind of stuff, chriscookingnashville at gmail.com. I'll put that down below as well. So anyway, I love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day and a wonderful week. You all mean so much to me. You just have no idea. I appreciate you so, so, so much. I'm having such a blast being a part of this community with you guys. You guys are the reason I do this, and I love every minute of it. You guys rock. Eat your meat. Love your life. This is Chris Cook in Nashville, and I'm going to see you guys on the next one.